Good morning, dear friends. You would notice that there's a background music, and these are the choir boys and the men of the Sistine Chapel Choir. And they're singing a very familiar song. If you were to listen to the different liturgical celebrations in the Vatican, it's particularly sung when the Pope enters. And what is it? Tu es Petrus. You are Peter. And the lyrics come from today's Gospel. And the, today is the 21st, 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. And the Gospel reading is Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. And I'd like to read it to all of you for this uh, Sunday. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of jo Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, the setting of our Gospel reading is Caesarea Philippi. It's found in the northern part of Israel. It is a place of springs, the water source that flows into the streams leading to the Sea of Galilee. And here, there used to be a flourishing Roman city where stood a lot of temples dedicated to various Roman deities, gods and goddesses. Now, it is in this ambient where Jesus asks his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? Their responses are expected. The so-called textbook answers. John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, one of the prophets. This last one is very significant. Why? People see Jesus, or people saw Jesus as a prophet. After all, people, people were expecting these personages to return. And the follow-up question was the more important one. But you, who do you say I am? This was the question they had in fact asked when about nine chapters back, if you would read the Gospel of uh, Matthew, they experienced Jesus calming the storm. They were asking, what sort of man is this? whom even the winds and the sea of bay. That was Matthew 8, 27. And from then on, they have heard and seen many words and deeds from Jesus. They have likewise previously praised him. As in Matthew 14, 33, Truly, you are the Son of God. This time, the response comes through a bold statement from Peter. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus, Messiah and Son of God. This answer made Jesus bless Peter and affirmed his answer as having divine origin. Peter himself is affirmed as rock. Siya yung bato. No? Una pa dun sa mga tinatawag natin bato ngayon, no? 
the rock on which will be established the church. To him will be given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And this is an affirmation of the one church and the visible leader, Peter. The leadership has been given by none other than Jesus himself. Napaganda pag tinignan natin, no? It was Peter who chose to respond to the question. And then, Jesus chose him. And you know what strikes me right now is this, uh, this line from Jesus when he said, For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. You know, an insight that comes to me right now is we cannot proclaim Jesus to be the Son of God without the Father telling us. It is a revelation to us. And in fact, this is the thing, that when we speak, we should discern, we should listen to the voice of God. And uh, so what we would hear preached on the pulpits or said by men, who, men and women who speak about scriptures, it's not something from them. It is they should really discern before they speak why, what they should say, should come from God Himself. And so it calls us to, to reflect more on the Word of God, on what we see in our daily events in life. And so I, we would ask uh, these questions. One, beyond what I know of Jesus from our religion classes and from Bible study, who is He for me? Do I encounter Him Every day in life, do I pray? Do I listen to Him? And so, that would give us our own view of Jesus. Who is He for me? Second, the Pope is the successor of Peter. How do I see the Church and her work in the world of today? Do we listen to Him? Do we get to know what He's doing? what he is telling us in this Sunday Angelus that he gives every week, in the general audience message, or in the apostolic exhortations or other documents that he gives us, what is he telling us? And so, he is the successor of Peter to whom Jesus gave the keys of the kingdom of heaven and we pray today we pray for the successor of Peter Pope Francis and the Universal Church and let us bring before the Lord the present concerns of the church that you would wish to pray for especially in these trying times especially during this pandemic I wish you all a good Sunday enjoy this day with the Lord God bless you